Welcome back to Let's Voice Act the Idol Master One for All. So, no free guesses as to who our first girl is going to be. Your favorite? Best girl. <clears throat> Let's do this, Chihaya. Time to make you into a top idol. Ah, so you choose Miss Chihaya Kisaragi. Mm. Kisagi? Huh? You said Chihaya Kisagi. I said Chihaya Kisaragi. That is not what I said. That is exactly what I said. Ah, okay. so you choose Miss Chihaya Kisaragi. Mm. I would dare say there's never a soul alive who could match the combination of sheer talent and sheer passion for singing. I've seen her display. I believe she may have stepped out for the moment, however. Would you go out and pick her up and give her the news while you're at it? Right away, sir. We'll be back in a little while. Chihaya Kisaragi. She is 765 Productions' resident wunderkind when it comes to singing, which is certainly how she seems to carry herself. That being said, she apparently used her free time to come out to the zoo today. I wonder what she's doing here. Ah, found her. Something in the penguin enclosure seems to have caught her eye. Shihaya? May I have a minute? Yes? Oh, let's see. What business brings you here? Um, actually, the president gave me the go-ahead this morning to take charge of your management, so... Well, I wanted to come let you know, and... Ah, I see. So it's that. I hadn't been made aware of that. Very well, then. Once again, I look forward to conducting business with you. Me too. So, I noticed you were watching the penguins pretty closely, and I was a little curious as to why, if you don't mind my asking. Actually, I think I can guess. Considering this is you we're talking about, I wouldn't be surprised if you just came here to study the different kinds of sounds they make. Precisely. Not just the penguins. I've been observing a wide variety of other species as well. As human beings, we have a tendency to take our own way and localize for granted, particularly when we sing. I was wondering whether there might be anything for me to learn from studying the more deliberate, instinctual vocalizations of these animals. Fascinating. Everyone's been telling me how meticulous she is about her work, but this? This goes above and beyond anything I could have imagined. This girl must really adore singing. Producer, if I am to entrust you with my management, there is one thing I must make clear to you straight away. While I can understand the, uh, while I can understand and accept the necessity of a working relationship between idol and producer, I do not wish for my vocal abilities to become diluted by that particular aspect of idol culture. Therefore, I would only ask that you draw out my potential for singing to its fullest. Beyond that, I have no intention of indulging myself in your favor. It would be less work for me if I took her up on that, but something about it doesn't sit right with me. Like, it's good that she's so serious about her singing, but isn't she putting too much pressure on herself to succeed at this one thing? That can't be what's best for her. I may need to go for an outside-the-box tactic if I want to be able to raise her into an extreme level. And if that means dragging her kicking and screaming out of her box, then so be it. Are we in agreement? Then what shall, our, then what shall be our first day's schedule? I believe an immediate vocal lesson would be Um, hang on. Actually, Chihaya? Just throwing out a suggestion here, but... Why don't we... Leave your singing alone 
for now. Leave it alone. Yes, well, uh, it's clear you want me to assign the absolute highest priority to your singing when devising my management policy for you, and, uh, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that at this time. I mean, think about it. You were already this conscientious in the study of your craft long before I came into the picture. I don't exactly get the impression throwing another body at it is going to do much for you. Which is why I would prefer to try focusing on the opposite, for starters. Helping you develop your other features as an idol, and drawing out your appeal to other demographics beyond just those that are here for your singing. Other features? I can scarcely believe what I'm here. That is not what I asked for from you, sir. If you're going to take charge of my management, I'd appreciate you not treating it as some sort of game. This isn't a game to me, Chihaya. I am dead serious. All I'm saying is, I think it would be a better use of our resources to have an extra set of eyes, prioritizing the features you wouldn't normally prioritize yourself, like, say, your physical appearance. Tell me, how do you expect to grow as an idol or as a person if, if I just let you keep doing only the things you like to do? How is that any different from before? Instead, I want to challenge you to balance your development with other types of activities even if they're things you might not be entirely comfortable with right now. I think there's plenty of poten- I think there's plenty of potential for growth in a number of areas all over you, just waiting for someone to push you into tapping it. Definitely caught her off guard, but... She seems ready to stop arguing with me, at least. Still... That look... What kind of look is she giving me right now? She's always been a little hard for me to read. You are even more unusual than my first impression of you. I don't know a single other person who I can imagine taking such an inventive attitude toward the development of my career. I don't understand. Well, well, good. That means I'm doing my job right. I touched on this earlier, but. What point is there in having a producer who thinks exactly like you do and tells you to do the same things you'd do on your own anyway? The president didn't hire me because he wanted things to stay the same around here. Well, if you're going to put it that way... <laughs> okay, the, yeah, it doesn't like accents either. Touché. I'm in no position to argue against sound business logic. Well then, shall we commence our activities? Just remember, my goal is to draw out an all-new Chihaya Kisaragi from you that no one's ever seen before. Very well. I place myself in your care. I have no shortage of concerns about how this policy and your stance to turn out, but if you're truly serious about it, then there's little I can do to try to make the most of it. That's Chihaya ahead of me. Morning, Chihaya. You're off to an early start, I see. Uh, um, <clears throat> good morning, producer. What's the matter? You're acting like you're surprised to see me. No, not especially. I simply have yet to mentally prepare myself to exchange greetings with anyone this morning. Oh. Um, okay. Anyway, I'm impressed to see you coming into the office so early in the morning. have different ideas on what constitutes early? I find that likely to be the case. For me, a typical day begins at least three hours before I start making my way to the office. By this point, it no longer feels like early morning to me. Three hours? What on earth are you doing that whole time? Allowing my voice to wake up, so to speak. If I don't allot myself at least three hours between getting out of bed and attempting to commence a work day, I won't be able to sing at full strength. Not that I ever have to do recordings in the morning, but I found it to be a good habit that keeps any potential problems from arising during my afternoon activities. Wow. So you keep up that habit even on days when you don't have any singing to do at all? That's... Uh, I apologize. I may have said that in a way that came across as boasting, which hadn't been my intention. 
it would be best for me to excuse myself now. I'll run ahead the rest of the way to the office. Uh, Chihaya! If you were making yourself uncomfortable with your own conversation, you could have just stopped talking. I wouldn't have minded walking the rest of the way together either way. Chihaya, what's up? Are you on your way back home? Oh, producer. Yes, I am. As all of my scheduled and assigned activities for the day have been completed. Right. I was just curious because I saw you walking ahead of me and you looked pretty lost in thought about something. What were you thinking about, if you don't mind me asking? Nothing in particular, right? Just the same sorts of things that always occupy my mind. What sorts of things are those? Primarily retrospectives of my performance throughout the day. As I mentally walk back through every song, every job, every lesson, points of contention begin pre presenting themselves. What if I had done this a little differently? Maybe I could have planned that a little better for me, instance. Anything that comes to my mind, I commit to memory and do my best to act on it the following day. Otherwise, I'm doing nothing for myself in the name of progress. My goodness, I am astounded, Shihaya. And that's something your brain just does? Sounds to me like an easy way to make sure each day is better than the last. What are you talking about? It's the only case scenario, isn't it? If everything you learn throughout the day sticks out in your mind so clearly. It strikes me as an overly optimistic Something almost melancholic about her retreating figure as she disappeared into the CD shop. Like I was looking at a pair of shoulders that had the weight of the world to bear. Nobody to, nobody to confide in or share it with. come from? I better find somewhere to wait it out. <sighs> Damn, it really started coming down all of a sudden. Glad there happened to be an alcove for me to duck into close by. That's cold! This was not in the forecast this morning. Producer, we appear to have stumbled upon the same shelter. I assume the rain has interrupted your field work as well? Yeah, I guess that makes two of us. At least we both had the good fortune to be somewhere to be nearby somewhere we could wait it out. Indeed. Quite convenient of the weather inconvenient. to Inconvenient. Yeah. Quite inconvenient of the weather to change without warning. Then again, I suppose it's just one of those days. Things. where it wishes, paying no thought to who might be beneath it at the moment. And we humans can do naught but scare, scurry frantically for cover when it does, so we were mere slaves to its every limb. But she high us. She got way more of a drenching than I did. I think I have something to help dry her off, and I better use it quick or she might be in danger of getting sick. Oh, now where is that towel? Chihaya, sorry, but could you look at me and hold still for a second, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. My hair must have been pretty. 
pretty thoroughly trenched, I take it. No kidding. I wasn't about to just stand here and risk letting the rainwater ruin your beautiful blue hair. Please be careful not to catch a cold, either. Of course. Don't worry. I warmed up a little thanks to you. So, I may produce her. Oh, I lost the line. Oh, and just suddenly as it began, it subsides. Shall we be on our way? Shihaya's rare smiling face shone even brighter as the sun peeked down on it from behind the clouds, right on cue. I'm a little surprised she let me get away with that, but I'm really glad it helped warm her up. outlet she's staring into. I wonder what this is about. Hey, Chihaya. Something catch your eye in there? Oh, yes, actually. I found my curiosity somewhat piqued by the display of tents, as I've never actually been camping before. I can't help but wonder what level of comfort they provide, as cramped and inconspiring as they must be for multiple campers. To actually sleep in one strikes me as a daunting challenge. Huh. Well, if you're that curious about them, why don't we try getting into one and you can see for yourself. This is incredibly suffocating. I have no recollection of ever being in such close proximity to another person. Could you maybe not act like I'm about to make a move on you, please? You know I would never. Whoops. Shush. I, I apologize. I'm just not sure of exactly how to deal with the lack of personal space in here. I mean, this is rather awkward, isn't it? Shall we talk about something? Um, you used pianos. Yes. What are your thoughts on used pianos, producer? Um, they're piano-y? Sorry, I don't think that prompt is going to help me make things less awkward. Uh, understandable, I suppose. Then, the air has become rather painful to breathe. Perhaps the floor plan of the office would be a more appropriate topic? Thank you for helping me satisfy my curiosity. That is not something that would be easy to do except in the company of an extremely long-time trusted acquaintance. Even then, the lack of fresh, fresh, fresh air, the lack of fresh air rapidly becomes an issue. The more you want to escape, the more it feels like the walls have closed in. Indeed, I could not imagine ever being able to get a good that Yeah. I could not imagine ever being able to get a good night's sleep in such an environment. That may not have been the best idea. It's clear she's not used to getting so close to another person, in either sense of the term. I'll definitely need to remember to give her her space and take my time trying to get her to open up to me. That's the end of rank E, so we're going to take a short break here. I'll break these episodes up by rank. I uh, failed to mention this earlier, but there's eight unique connection scenes you can get in ranks E to D, 15 you can get starting at rank C to B, and then 10 from uh, rank A, and then the extra DLC rank S. So I'm going to... I tried to split them up pretty much 50-50 by each rank, so we'll do four at rank E, four at rank D, seven or eight at rank C and B, and then five at rank A before and after the Idle Extreme. And that's how we'll split up the episodes. So we'll take a short break, and we'll see you back for more Chihaya at rank D. See you guys soon. Bye. 
hey guys, do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too. You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for joining us today, fans. Did you know we do a lot more than manage idols on our channel? Check out Izumi Reviews Me for anime reviews, product reviews, and more. I'd prefer not to direct too much attention away from our singing. By selecting the box on the left, one may view our previously completed Idol Master dubs. And of course, we'll see you next time.